They can play a big role on how you vote, though they have been criticized for their accuracy both north and south of the border during recent elections. We're here outside the Regent Park uh, Advanced Polling Center, and many people who have been coming here to vote ahead of the June 7th election have been seeing lots of polls in recent days, though. Can you trust them? The industry, not just here, but around the world, is going through some really severe issues in terms of estimating the turnout. The bigger problem that we have is the publication of polling. But if you're going to be in this for democracy, you can't just take whatever you get off the table or rip off the wire and put it forward. We live in an era where both the polling companies and the media are challenged about fake news every single day. John Wright spent more than 25 years at Ipsos. In part, he blames some media companies for rushing polls to print or air. In recent days, there's been multiple polls sent out, including this one from Forum, that predicts an NDP majority government. A Main Street research poll has the NDP ahead, but only by a couple percent. And an Ipsos poll has the Liberals a distant third, with the PCs ahead by 3% over the NDP, though you'll note the margin of error is just a hair over 3%. City News has learned new polling criteria has just been sent out by Canada's Market Intelligence Research Association to polling companies to create a new national standard. This is a big step for Canada. This has been seven years in the making. And I think we've got all the major ones on board, but there's a few that won't be because they're not members of the association. And hopefully a web page will say to editors, if they're not on the web page, don't report them. So when there have been big failures, I think some of the problems have been over-reliance on online polls, not getting representative samples of the population. That's the first thing I look for, who did they poll? University of Toronto professor Nancy Reed has received the Order of Canada for her work as a data scientist. She believes when viewing a poll, the number of people in a poll isn't generally as important as the way the public were polled. Are they only using landline calls? Are they only using an online panel that they identified before the election was called? These can skew the results, uh, all of them as you could imagine. Remember that it's just one poll. And it's at that moment in time, and they always say among decided voters uh, or among decided and likely voters. The best polls tell you what the, how many people said they weren't sure still, but those not sure can really sway an election a lot. Professor Reed believes that polls are usually pretty accurate, though she does note some of the flaws are that when they're gathering information and their data, they're looking at the popular vote when leaders in their province and across the country are voted riding by riding by the amount of seats they get. She also notes if you want to get a good idea of what it might look like come election day, look at a list of polls before forming your opinion.